Hi, welcome. I'm Susie Nash, and I'm here with the fabulous Beekman Boys. How are you? I'm doing very well. How are you doing? I'm doing just well. well. Cozy here in our IKEA bed. We are. Thanks to IKEA for inviting us in. Uh, so, you're here for the Philadelphia Home Show, and uh, what are we going to see you doing this this weekend? Well, we are going to inspire people with stories from our farm. And have menage a trois, apparently. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> so why are you the Beekman Boys? Well, the name of our farm in upstate New York, uh, it was built by William Beekman in 1802. So we named our company Beekman 1802, and then everybody started calling us the Beekman Boys. Okay. And they are not brothers, for the record. <laughs> that would be really creepy, even creepier than this. Um, so I have a question for you. What's one of your, you, you have an association with Philadelphia, I understand. Well, uh, we come to Philadelphia quite often. Uh, we've spoken at the flower show before and, of course, here at the home show. Um, but our very first break into business uh, came from working with a company called Anthropology, which is based here in Philadelphia. Um, so uh, we know that Urban Outfitters and Anthropology always gives uh, Philadelphia a very stylish stamp. Uh, so uh, we've been coming to Philly for a long time with our work with them. So this is your, I understand, your second year with the home show? Um, we've done several home shows. Several, oh. um, I'm not sure that we've been to the Philadelphia home show, but we've done uh, several around the country, um, and, and they're amazing. I mean, there's so much fun. You can get, um, so, you can see so much, and if you've got ideas for redoing your home, it can be inspirational, but you can also see like a lot of vendors in one place, which is amazing. And now I understand you're, you're our party boy. <laughs> I, yes, I used to be, you know, I was a drag queen for a few years when I was younger. Did you ever perform in Philadelphia or, or come to play here? I did perform in Philadelphia, but we're talking the 90s. So, I mean, that was like prehistoric drag time. <laughs> and who's the, the bigger cook? Um, well, we both like to cook. I say Josh has better technique, and I am better uh, at coming up with ideas for him to cook. Okay, so if I asked you to do something with a pound of scrapple, what would you come up with? Uh, fry it up in a pan and eat it. What else would you do with it? <laughs> well, I could think of some things, but not necessarily with cooking. <laughs> Basketball. Uh, no, you also have your company, Beekman 1802. That's right. So where can we find, uh, first tell me a little bit about it. Well, Beekman 1802 uh, is a company that we started uh, in 2008 when we both lost our jobs in the city and had to figure out a way to make the farm sustain itself. Uh, and as I said, Anthropology was our first big customer uh, when we were making goat milk based beauty products uh, from the goat milk from our farm. Uh, but now the company um, designs uh, food products, beauty products, um, furniture, bedding, uh, all inspired by our life on the farm. So people can find our stuff at Anthropology, Williams Sonoma, Bloomingdale's, uh, and on our website, Beekman1802.com. Uh -huh. And what kind of things will they find there? Um, Garden stuff, beauty stuff, food, all small batch and artisanal. Um, and we just actually launched our new line of bedding and furniture. So um, there's some terrific stuff there. Excellent. Listen, um, one last question for you. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the Philadelphia's known for specialty foods? We've got uh, Scrapple, of course. We've got uh, Tasty Cakes and Philadelphia Pretzels. Is there anything that you're... Cheesesteak thing, right? Exactly. I can say, what are you looking forward to eating while you're here in Philadelphia? Well, we love, whenever we go anywhere, we love to go to farmer's markets and see what the local, other local farmers are growing. And, and here we love Reading Market. You know, this time of year it's a little cold, so we probably won't hit a true farmer's market. That nobody's growing anything this time of year. So we'll go to um, the uh, Reading Market, and um, that's where we'll get dinner. We're going to pile up everything and take it back to our hotel room and have a feast. Am I invited? Sure. You're already in bed with us. <laughs> what more can you ask? We're here with the beef. Are, are you wearing anything around it? Because I've just got my underwear on. <laughs> don't ask, don't tell. <laughs> on behalf of the Philly Gay Calendar, we uh, hope to see you out here in Philly.